to this week's video on the National 5 topic of quadratic formula as per viewer request. And what we've got here is a fairly typical example. We've got solve the equation 7x squared plus 8x plus 2 equals 0 and give your answers correct to one decimal place. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this three step guide. So the three step guide here basically advises us to write down the coefficient carefully so that's the a, b and c value, and making sure to include any negative sign. The second part here says if b is a negative, then negative b becomes a positive. And the other point to make is that squaring a negative makes a positive. And what we've got here is the actual formula itself, which I'll write down in each question, and that is the format that, that you would get it in. So it's ax squared plus bx plus c. So the first number term is a, second number term is b and the third one is c. So we'll look at the particular example that we've got here. So what we'll do first of all is I'll write down the a, b and c. So I'll write down the coefficients carefully including any negative value. So my a value is just this value here, so it's just 7. My b value is just 8 and my c value is just 2. So those ones are quite simple because there isn't any negatives. And the formula that we've got is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to establish what b squared minus 4ac is, so what we would call the discriminant. <coughs> and there isn't any negative value, so b squared is just 8 squared. Take away 4ac means 4 times 7 times 2. So what we have there is 64 <coughs> minus 56, which is just 8. So this part under here becomes 8. The negative b, so we don't need to worry about changing, it's just going to become negative 8. So in this here, x equals, so negative b is negative 8, so we don't need to, it's not a negative it's a positive, so it just becomes a negative. Plus or minus root 8 all over, because we worked out the b squared minus 4ac, 2a, which is just 2 times 7. So, I know that 2 times 7 is just 14. Um, we've, got two, we've got two separate answers here. We've got the... The first one that we're going to get, um, we've got negative 8 plus root 8 over 14, and we've got x equals negative 8 minus root 8 over 14, and we've got 0 0.4 is one answer, and sorry, minus 0 0.4 is one answer, and minus 0 0.8. So we're going to use some other examples with you. So we've got another example here. I want us to solve the equation 3x squared minus x minus 5 equals 0 and give your answers to one decimal place. So we just go through the same strategies again. We just write down the coefficient of each term, making sure to include any negative signs. So a is just 3. b, that might look a bit odd because there's not actually a number there. But that's really an invisible 1, so it's actually a negative 1. So b is negative 1. And c is negative 5. And again, we're using that, that formula. So it's x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So as before, I'm going to work out the discriminant part first of all. So b squared minus 4ac, what we're told to remember is that squaring a negative makes a positive. So b squared negative 1 squared minus 4ac is 4 times 3 times minus 5. And squaring that negative becomes positive 1. And let's take away... So 4 times 3 is 12, and then we've got negative 
5. So it's 1 take away and it's negative 60. And then the two negatives together make a positive, so it's just 61. So this part under the bracket is 61, or under the root sign, 61. We're also told in the notes, now we looked over there, that if B is negative, then negative B becomes a positive. So B is a negative, so negative B actually becomes a positive. So it becomes X equals positive 1 plus or minus. And that was root 61. And it's over 2A. So A is 3. So it's just 2 times 3. And we know that 2 times 3 is just 6. And obviously we have two answers there because we've got X equals 1 plus root 61 over 6. And then we've got X equals 1 minus root 61. And the two answers we get, um, we have here minus 1.1. And for this one, we have positive 1.47. I should say 1.5 because it's one decimal place. So 1.5. So those are two answers there, and that's both to one decimal place. We'll try another example. <coughs> we've got an example. So this is from the 2019 paper 2 question 6 and it's asked us to solve the equation 3x squared plus 9x minus 2 equals 0. Give your answers to one decimal place. So as before we we'll write down the coefficients, coefficients of each term making sure to include any negative signs. So we know that a is 3, b is 9 and c is negative 2. There isn't any negatives there, these, these two are just positive. And then we're going to write down the formula. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And what we've been doing in all the examples is we've been working out the b squared minus 4ac part, which is the discriminant. That's where when you're trying to work out the, the nature of the roots. We work at that part first. And then we deal with this and, and this. So as we were told in the, the list up there is that if B is negative, and if we square it, we square a negative, we get a positive. We don't have a negative, so we don't need to worry about that. So the B squared minus 4AC part is 9 squared minus 4 times A times C. So it's times 3 times minus 2. So this becomes 81 minus 12, and then in brackets, minus 2. So it becomes 81 minus minus 24. So two negatives next to each other become a positive, so it actually becomes 105. So that part under the, the root sign becomes 105. So that's our, essentially our discriminant. And negative b, well b isn't a negative anyway, so it's just going to become negative 9. Negative 9 plus or minus root 105 all over 2a, so it's 2 times 3. And we know that 2 times 3 is 6. there when we do minus 9 plus root 105 over 6 we get 0 0.2 one decimal place and we do, when we do minus 9 minus root 105 over 6 we get minus 3.2 one decimal place. 
So we're going to go on to another example. In this example here, we've got solve the equation 2x squared plus 5x minus 4 equals 0 gives you the answer to 1 by 3 fifths. So we do the same thing, we write down our a, b and c values. So a is 2, b is 5 and c is negative 4. So we just have to make sure we pay attention in case it is any negatives. And we're using the x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So what we do, as before, we work out the discriminant first. So we work out b squared minus 4ac. And b isn't negative, so it's just going to be 5 squared minus 4 times 2 times minus 4. So we've got 2 minus 4. And 5 squared is 25. Minus 4 times 2 is 8 times minus 4. And then it becomes 25 minus negative 32. And then when we take away a negative, it becomes a positive. So 25 plus 32 is 57. So this is the part under the, the root sign. <coughs> and negative b, this part here, so b is just a positive. It's not a negative that we then need to change. It's just going to become negative 5. So it's negative 5 plus or minus the square root. And we worked that out as 57. And the whole thing's over 2a. So it's 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is just 4. And then obviously we've got two separate sums to do there. So I've got negative 5 plus root 57 over 4. And we've got negative 5 minus root 57 over 4. And then we have to give each of those answers to one decimal place. So for this one, we get 0 0.6. And... For this one, we get minus 3.1. I should say that these questions are normally worth about 4 marks. I'm going to do another example for you. So this question was from the 2018 paper. And it's actually from paper 1. So this one is quite hard and combines a little bit of surt as well. So we're told that the roots of the equation x squared minus 6x minus 81 equals 0 can be expressed in the form x equals d plus or minus d root a. Find d and e. We'll find the values of d and e. So we just start this off exactly the same. So we write down what a is, what b is, and what c is. Be careful to include any negatives. So a is just 1. b is minus 6, because there's a minus there, and c is minus 81. And we're using the usual x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And what we're told that we need to work out is the b squared minus 4ac part first of all. So we're told that b squared, so if b is a minus, we say that square and a negative makes a positive. So we've got minus 6 squared minus 4ac. So 4 times 1 times minus 81. So minus 6 squared is 36. Minus 4 times 1 is 4 times minus 81. So it becomes 36 minus negative 324. And the two negatives next to each other become a positive. So it really becomes 36 plus 324, which is 360. So we know that the b squared minus 4ac part, the discriminant, is 360. And minus b, and then what we're told is if b is a negative, then negative b becomes a positive. 
So negative 6 becomes positive 6, so it's 6 plus or minus root 360 all over 2a, so 2 times 1 is just 2. And this is where we need to think about thirds. So you could have got this far knowing what you know so far. But what we have to do with the 360 part is we have to break it down. So we need to think two numbers that multiply together to give me 360 and one of them's got a square root. So it's going to be root 36 and root 10. So we've got 6 plus or minus root 36, root 10 and the whole thing is over 2. So we just get to simplifying the third root 36 is just 6. So we've got 6 plus or minus 6 root 10 all over 2. So what we can do now is we can just divide through by 2. So that's going to become a 3 and that's going to become a 3. But we just leave the 10 as it is. So when we divide through by 2, that becomes 3 and that becomes 3. And then we go back to the original part. So this is really the format that we've got it in now. So it's d plus or minus d root e. Well, the d value, as you can see, is just 3. And the e value is 10. And that's been it. So I hope that's been helpful. Please like, please subscribe. Please feel free to suggest any other maths videos you'd like to see. I've still got a few in the queue just now but we'll all get back to you if you do suggest one. Bye.